Hello, everyone. Um, good evening. Welcome to Stamp It Up with Jamie. I'm Jamie. This is a very impromptu sort of spur of the moment uh unboxing that I'm going to do. I received my big box of pre-ordered goodies from the 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek at everything I got. Now, I got a lot. <laughs> I didn't necessarily get everything, um, but I got close to everything. So we're going to take a closer look. This is going to be a longer video than maybe I usually do. Um, if you have questions, certainly drop them uh, in the comment section. I can see who's commenting. I can see who's here with me and, um, and all the things. So a couple of things just to let you know. I told all the ladies on my team to, in their pre-order, buy themselves a catalog so that they would have one immediately. Guess who didn't buy themselves a catalog to have it immediately? <laughs> So I told everyone else to do it. I didn't follow my own advice. So I don't have an actual catalog. Not that I can show you the inside of it anyways, but I could show you the, the, the cover. In any case, the catalog's amazing. I have been able to see the inside of it. And customers are going to be able to order starting May 4th. If you get antsy, you see what you like, and you're like, I have to have that sooner than later, uh, you can pre-order items in a starter kit okay so the starter kit is 99 dollars. you pick 125 dollars in product that you look like it could be all new goodies and it ships for free um so between now and may 4th if you want things sooner definitely go the route of the starter kit okay um what else did i want to say i'm going to be sharing some other things i just want to remind you hello everyone i'm going to say hi to everyone in a second my catch-all link okay and i made sure all my important links were up there before i went live jamieb.com you have to spell my name right j-a-i-m-i-e-b.com is my catch-all link you can find link to my new color club and product shares, which I haven't even announced yet, but I put the link over there in case you got the bug and you wanted to make sure you got in on the goodies, okay? So jamieb.com, there is also a link to the starter kit there if you decide you wanna go that route and get the things ASAP. Who's all here? Look at all my friends. Hi, Deborah, Rebecca, Lori, Cindy, Deb, Rosemary, Jamie, another Jamie. You did an unboxing today too, how fun. Tina, Lori. Jean, Michelle, hello everyone. I can't get to next month as a customer. <laughs> uh, from New Zealand, that's super exciting. Oh, let me get rid of that. Wait, did I not do that? There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna dive right in. I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let me do a little magic. Right now I would show you the catalog cover, but again, I didn't take my own advice and I didn't buy myself a catalog. My catalogs come Tuesday. If you're a customer of mine and you've requested a catalog, they will come Tuesday. Hopefully my goal is to have them out by no later than Friday, hopefully Thursday um, at the absolute latest. Okay, so let me just do this, okay. The first suite I want to show you is called Bright and Beautiful. If you have your catalogs or your future catalogs, it's found on page, starting on page 14 of the annual, of the annual catalog. And I'm super duper duper excited about this suite because I have been wishing and hoping for balloons for so long because I feel like we needed a birthday celebratory suite that's just for celebrations and birthdays and anniversaries. And I mean, you could do baby shower with this. You could do graduation, so many things. Balloons are so versatile. They go with everything, right? So beautiful balloons, again, starting on page 14 of the annual catalog. These images are at 85%. So they are actually a little bigger than what you're seeing them here. There are 16 images. Let's see. It's a photopolymer stamp set. So I really almost want to kill these lights. Is it too dark if I do that? Let's go a little darker so you're not getting huge glares. Um, wow, that balloon is so big. Let's see how big it is. It is like two by two and a half. That's a big balloon. I love that. And I love this, um, like, streamers. 
Let's see what the sentiments are. I think it's time for a celebration. Oh, love the little confetti. That's cute. So thrilled for you. Yay, you. <laughs> Yay, you. Uh, you did it. Happy birthday. Oh, this is super fun. It's exactly what I wanted. Hello, Carol from Belgium. Isn't that fun? All my international friends are here. <laughs> I love it. What's the name of the suite? Of the Galaxy suite? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. And if I move my screen, it's going to mess me up. I can tell you a little bit later. Uh, the coordinating dies are the beautiful balloons dies. So um, Stampin' Up! is carrying over the way they're naming their bundles. Stamps and dies used to have different names. Now beautiful balloons stamp, beautiful balloons dies. Love it. Ooh, oh, I was not expecting that. That is how they, hold on, let me just flip through one of the pictures. Oh, okay. So one of the pictures and the sample cards is like, um, well, I think it's designer paper, but it's like all cut into. And I thought someone took scissors and cut like, doo, 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 but they use this. They put that along the edge and gave a frayed look. That's what I'm looking at. Give it like, gave it like a frayed look. Um, you can do like a trio. Oh, that's fun. Love the star. Look at that fun confetti. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't opened this stuff yet. So that is super fun. Bal beautiful balloons bundle. You buy it together. You save the 10%. Remember, bundles have their own numbers. They're not their individual numbers. And then the designer series paper coordinating is bright and beautiful designer paper. I love how bright it is. I can see why they named it the way they did. Bright and beautiful. Ooh, that's pretty. Beautiful colors for celebrating. Ooh, I don't love yellow, but that's gorgeous. That's the That has to be lemon lolly. Yep, lemon lolly. Lemon lime twist. Pretty peacock? Or is that Lost Lagoon? Well, that's both in there. That's probably Pretty Peacock. This is probably Lost Lagoon. So pretty. Ooh. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's really, really pretty. Let's see the opposite side. So one side is more graphic and one side is more imagery. We have some stars. Ooh, that's super fun. I don't know if the colors are coming through, but you have your pinks into yellows, into greens, into blues, into purples. So pretty to make a balloon out of that. So, oh my gosh, that is so fun. Ooh, that's pretty too. Great mix of color. Ooh, the scallops are so, I love that. For a birthday? Thank you, Stampin' Up! Yes, I agree. I love it. Oh, look at the confetti. I love how it's not just one solid color. It's like a gradient. And so if you wanted to just do like blues, you could just use this little bit here. If you just wanted the purples, you could do this down here. If you wanted a combination, you can kind of go in between both. Ooh, the stars are fun. And that looks like a berry burst. Now, if you would like a sampling of all the new designer paper, you can get that in my product share. So with my product share, I literally buy one of every new paper, one of every new ribbon, one of every new embellishment. I evenly divide it up and then you buy that portion of it. Now I haven't like announced, announced it yet, but if you go on my blog at the, uh, in the top menu, there's a link there, or you can go again to jamieb.com and there's a link there as well. You can sign up to get this. You would literally get this, the sample. That's a lot. That's a lot of pieces of paper, <laughs> a lot of cardstock. So pretty. So this is the Bright and beautiful designer series paper. And then there's some specialty paper. Gold celebration specialty designer series paper. But it feels like acetate almost. And there's three patterns. This would be really fun if you could like make bags. I'm sorry, you're getting terrible reflections. If I just leave it like that, can you see it? <laughs> Trying to cover as much of the glare as I can. These little like bits of streamers or confetti. There is a, ooh, that's fun. Oh, there, can you see it there? It's like gradient. So it's like more at the top and more at the bottom. And then it kind of fades as you go into it, like stars and confetti. I keep saying confetti. Ooh, this is fun. This is really fun for um, like even New Year's Eve or a wedding. This would be make really fun wedding. 
just gold. I know you're getting weird things, weird, <laughs> weird reflections. So in the suite, you have specialty paper, you have designer paper, and then you have the stamp set. I'm already going hoarse. And the, and the coordinating dies. Okay. Bright and beautiful. Page 14 of your annual catalog. Okay, let me move on. I got to fit. You know what? I should have written this down and I literally didn't. So the stargazing one is called stargazing. Stargazing sweet. Okay, the next one I want to get to is on page 46. Let me get there. I should have written this down. I didn't. Starting on page 46 of the annual catalog is the Zoo Crew Sweet Collection. Now, you know me, I'm not necessarily one to go cutesy, but these are pretty adorable and I thought I would just go for it. <laughs> I thought I would just go for it. So this is starting on page, what did I say, 46, and it starts off with a stamp set. How fun is that? <laughs> I love, it just cracks me up because it's just like, like full on silly. Like you have a turtle singing and you have a, oh, is that a llama? A llama knitting. Like it's so just kind of random and a crocodile riding a bicycle. Um, I think it's really funny. And this is a cling stamp set. There are 11 images in total. We have sentiments, something great to celebrate you. You're too wonderful. And then a happy birthday, which is wonderful to have. The coordinating dies are the zany zoo dies. Again, same name. So Zany Zoo stamp set, Zany Zoo dies. I'm going to open this up and we'll take a closer look. Oh, that's super fun. Okay. So there's images that will cut out the, the stamped image like this one here. That'll cut out the stamped image. Then we have some standalones like a little balloon. Oh, that's super cute. That'd be fun because you could kind of layer over the stamped balloons, a couple of the die cut balloons, some flowers, trees. Are those hot dogs? I think those are hot dogs. Are those hot dogs? So many fun new items, decisions to be made, right? <laughs> I have no idea what those are, if those are hot dogs. I don't know why they would be hot dogs. I don't see any hot dogs anywhere. Well, we'll have to see what everyone else does with that because I'm not 100% sure. There's a curtain, which would be fun with the ballerina, a little scalloped edge. So Zany Zoo die, uh, die, Zany Zoo stamp set. And then what I love, I love, 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 is when Stampin' Up! coordinates the paper with the die. So this is the Zoo Crew designer paper. And <laughs> who loves the fussy cut? Get those scissors sharpened. Really fun. Really fun images. <laughs> and then we have this one. Now these should, yep, that one should have dies. Let's see here. I think it's this one. Yep, the dies go right over that. Oh, I love when Stampin' Up! does that. So some of these images, not all of them, like the elephant doesn't, the koala doesn't, the armadillo doesn't, um, but some of these images. So basically, if you see these, these animals, they will match the paper. <laughs> That's so fun. I'm sorry. And then same with this. We have like the images will line up. We have the knitting llama. I think that's a llama. Is that a llama? I don't know my animals. Someone figured out in a previous video today that those two little things are actually curtain tiebacks. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were hot dogs. Curtain tiebacks make so much more sense <laughs> than hot dogs. <laughs> it's dinner time. I guess I'm hungry. <laughs> we have some animals playing instruments. So if you have someone musical in your family or friends that you know, the deer doing the ballet is hysterical. So really like fun themed. Like if you have a camper in your life or someone that likes adventure, or someone that likes dance, someone that likes music, someone that likes reading or crocheting or art, um, someone that is celebrating a birthday or something congratulatory, um, riding their bike, that sort of thing. So I love how it just, it's not just like all art it's not all ballet it's not all whatever it's like you get a variety now the opposite side are black and white patterns which 
hello who loves a black and white pattern i love a black and white pattern because they go with everything when in doubt go black and white oh i like that one a lot that's really fun got some stars and then a little zigzag going on here so that's the designer paper zoo i thought they were hot dogs nobody tell on me that i thought that was a hot dog okay <laughs> in the suite is the ribbon duo combo pack which is um uh, lemon lime twist what's the pink let's look petal pink petal pink and lemon lime twist so lemon lime twist is one of our new returning colors anybody else there we go Ooh, this has a nice really nice texture to it it's like got texture that's the petal pink one. It's got like petal pink and almost like white. And then this is the lemon lime twist, which is very bright. Or anything from the pre-order. I'm sure they don't see what I want a few things, but nothing jumped out. Give it time, Ruby. Sometimes it's a matter of seeing what other people start to make. So many times I've written off like, oh, I don't need that. I don't really like that. I don't want that. And then I start seeing what everyone make it makes with it. And I'm like, okay, I need this in my life. <laughs> so uh, lemon lime twist petal pink it's a combo pack if you sign up for the product share you will get a quarter of each ribbon a quarter spool of each ribbon so pretty right michelle okay so that is the zoo crew sweet found on um, starting on page whatever i said 46. okay Moving right along. Sorry, I didn't write down my pages. The next one I'm going to do is the Countryside Inn, which starts on page, ooh, I went too far, 62. I'm sorry. If I had my cat, if I had ordered a catalog, I didn't. Okay, so Countryside Inn, if you like monochromatic, if you like, um, more traditional looking this is a really great option i love personally i love the monochromatic look of it now it is um starts off with the stamp set which you're gonna need other product okay you can't just if you're starting out and you're wanting to shop you can't just buy this product because all you're gonna have is shapes and you're not gonna have a sentiment you're not gonna have anything to do with the shape so this is more like a complimentary product it's more of a staple you're definitely going to need something else outside of it so countryside corners um it is a red rubber cling stamp that is really cool i should have i didn't open it up ahead of time i didn't know what it looked like so it one two three four five six it gives you six different shapes i don't know what shape that is gives us six different shapes and then it coordinates again countryside corner stamp countryside corners dies and the dies so you could stamp this and then cut out a bunch of whatever that shape is and then you can layer them you can keep them separate you can alternate them you can do so so much i love how we have a tiny banner in there i did not know that was there i love a banner i'm a sucker for a banner so really fun i like how it's different i like how it's using shapes in a unique different way and we don't have anything like this so i'm a huge fan countryside corners bundle i cannot wait to see what people do with this including myself <laughs> it has uh the coordinating so all the suites have three things in it, a bundle, paper, and then something else. The something else in this one is the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. That's really fun. It's not a 3D embossing folder. It's just a regular embossing folder, but really, really pretty. That's going to make a really nice background to some of those cut images. And then we have the Countryside in designer paper. It is a monochromatic so it's all blues with white balmy blue boho blue misty moonlight and night of navy one two three four blues okay so there's one. Ooh, why do i feel like my 
internet is not cooperating. This one, I had no idea there were bunnies on it until I opened up the pack and I was like, oh, bunnies. That would be really fun for Easter. How fun would that be for Easter? Now, Easter is Sunday, so you can make cards for Easter 2024. I mean, it's in the annual catalog. It'll be around. And then this one has birds. Again, sometimes when you see things in the catalog, you miss some of the details. I had no idea there were animals on this. I think this might be my favorite one. Does that match? It's, it does match. Does that match? It does match. It matches the embossing folder. I wonder if the embossing folder um, lines up. Probably not. Let's see. It's the same pattern. Let's see. Does it, do they align? They do align. Do you see that? I'm pretty sure they align. Uh, maybe they're a smidge off. I'm definitely going to play with that. It's super close. I think they line up. So you could cut this piece of designer paper and then you're embossing the, the, the pattern in the paper. Oh, that's so cool. I did not notice that. That's my favorite pattern, I think. And then we have fox, foxes, fox eye. <laughs> I don't know how to pluralize fox. Fox and then trees. Trees. So again, our paper is usually images on one side and then more patterns on the other. So the more pattern side is this one. Ooh, do you see the little detail? It's got like little dots on it. That's fun. Uh, is that opposite the one I love? Sometimes don't you wish you could just buy like a whole pack of one pattern? I'd buy a whole pack of just this pattern. Oh, I love that. Blue stripes, sold, goes with everything. That's fun. And then, oh, I love this one too so much. This might be my favorite pack of paper. It really might be. So Countryside in designer paper. You can get a sample of it in my product share. Embossing folder, which we know coordinates with that one pattern. That's so cool. And then just a really different bundle, kind of basic. Um, good uh, baseline to kind of work off of. Really fun. This starts on page 62 of the annual catalog. Okay. Next suite. I'm sorry. I got to find where it is and then get to it. So where is it? There we go. Okay. It's fresh as a daisy, which is starts on page 110. Got to get to it. Come on, computer. Okay. Starts on page 110, and it starts with our stamp set, Cheerful Daisies. It has 15 images. Uh, images are shown at 90%, so they're a little bigger than, not that much bigger, but a little bigger than you see them here. I am a sucker for puns. You know this about me. So I love the oops -a daisy so sorry. I think that is just so clever to have that pun. Um, wishing you a brightest birthday. You made my day. Your friendship means everything. What a beautiful sentiment to send um, someone that. You didn't miss much, Patricia. No big deal. This is what I'm here for. Um, and it looks like we have some double stamping going on here, right? Is that what is classified? Yeah, I didn't really look into it. Uh, yep, two-step stamping. It is a two-step stamping. So you would stamp the outside and then the inside or vice versa, inside and the outside. This little dude goes in the middle of there. And then we have like a, a half a daisy. I don't know how you call that. Double stamping, double stamping. And then they have a inside for that one as well. Stem, you could make it a standing one. It is a photopolymer stamp set, so it's perfect for two-step stamping. You're going to see exactly where you're stamping, no guessing. You're going to hit exactly where you need to hit. So Cheerful Daisy stamp, it has, of course, coordinating dies, Cheerful Daisy die. Cheerful Daisy dies. Wow, that's, it either comes right off the tongue or it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, so, ooh, ooh, let's all do it. Ooh, ah, 
<laughs> so it looks like we are going to be able to make stamp daisies and cardstock daisies. So, hello, Marianne. So, well, it's not going to line up perfect because these are only showing at 90%, but we have some dies to cut out these bigger daisies. But then we have, oh, it's stuck together. Oh, it's stuck together. That is one big die. I didn't realize that. Ready? One big die. And then these little details, I'm assuming, is what goes in the middle of these. It would have to. That's fun. And then a little label. Isn't that the sweetest label? It looks like it's stitched around the ends. And then a branch, a leaf, some greenery. <laughs> That's what we're going to call. So cheerful daisy stamp, cheerful daisies dies. The coordinating designer paper is fresh as a daisy. It's got lots of different colors in it. Now, this is something I haven't seen before, or at least not that I can really remember. But look at this. You can cut out the little pieces. And I love how you can kind of use them like this. You could use just by itself as a card, add a sentiment, call a day. Or you have other ones like this one and this one and this one over here that are more like background. Like you could do a background and then put a daisy over it and just kind of have it be... Um, but this one definitely could be by itself. So clever. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> this is a really fun pattern. It's bright. <laughs> it's bright. It's got lots of yellow. What's the yellow? Is it crush curry? Crush curry and lemon lolly. Yeah. Those are the yellows. It makes me happy to see it though. Daisies are such a happy flower. Um, there's one copper is that the new copper clay copper clay yep yeah. oh good i'm getting the starting to get the colors down daisies with more pinks oh that one's fun daisies along the bottom and then daisies with like a pebble path i bet that is pebble path background so those are the more imagery and then the ones that are more just patterns we have a blue probably copper clay Crushed curry, maybe? Is that blueberry bushel? I should just pretty peacock. Um, Pebble path and then moody mauve. So again, get a sample of the um, each of the patterns of designer paper. Anything that is 12 by 12 would get cut down to samples of 6 by 6. If it's 6 by 6, it's 6 by 6. You can also get a double share, which would cut 12 by 12, 6 by 12. Okay, so again, that link is hiding on my blog, although I haven't announced it, um, but it's also at jamieb.com. The, like I said, all of our suites are three products, the bundle, the designer paper, and then something else. The something else are, in this one, are the adhesive backed solid gems, which are colors. They don't say here. Oh, where did I go? There we go. Well, they don't say say the colors we're gonna have to I bet that's lemon that has to be lemon lolly boho blue moody no that's I maybe copper clay maybe so and you get two size no nope, excuse me three sizes of the three different colors very fun so in my product share is also a sample of embellishments so you'll get a sample of the embellishments ribbon and designer paper and then or if you only want designer paper or if you only want ribbon and embellishments, there's a couple of options. Okay, so cheerful, um, not cheerful daisies. The sweet is fresh as a daisy. It starts on page 110. Okay, then I bought a standalone bundle because I thought it was super fun. And this is called the Circle Sayings Bundle. And oh, it was designed by a million dollar uh, demonstrator. I don't know who it is. I didn't look at that. I apologize to whomever <laughs> to give credit. My bad. Um, it has 14 images. These are shown at only 85%. So they are slightly bigger. It is a photopolymer stamp set. Yeah, they are definitely bigger. And it coordinates with a two, you're going to get a reflection, two and three eighth circle punch. So you stamp, you line it up. It'll create like a little border around it. So fun. 
And I love it. Celebrate sending you a warm hello, sending you a smile. Thinking of you. I love thinking of yous. Thank you because you're awesome. And then a couple of different, you could do like a scene if you wanted or a big cupcake if you wanted. So many different um, options. And I just thought it was really fun. So circle sayings. I don't know what page that's on because I didn't check ahead of time. But when you get your annual catalog, flip through until you find the circle sayings. Which, by the way, when you get your catalog, if you go to the back, it'll show you um, anything that's being sold as a bundle. We'll have, there's like a couple of pages of just bundles. And so you can flip through and find um, the bundles towards the back of your catalog. So circle sayings, love the circle punch. I don't know. Do we normally not see that? Why do I feel like I haven't seen that before? I don't have anything to punch. That little thing. <sighs> it never gets old. Is the demonstrator's name on this? Oh, it is. Jessica Taylor. Thank you. Who said that? Beth. Thank you, Beth. Oh, and Lori said it too. My bad. Jessica Taylor. Look at that. I don't know why. Something as simple as just punching out a circle is so filling. It never gets old. Never gets old. Circle things. Okay. That's what I have for the sweets. Let's play with some color. So we're getting um, 11 new colors. One of them is Fresh Freesia. I'm not going to dive into Fresh Freesia because it's a color that we have right now and you're probably well familiar with it as it is already um so i'm gonna feed i'm gonna show you the 10 new colors that are being introduced into the core collections and then we have five new 2023 2025 in colors okay so that's 16 colors in all i'm gonna do a little color comparison for you i'm gonna stamp color comparisons if you want more graphic color um comparisons uh, go to my blog. You can find it by going to jamieb.com. Three posts down or two posts down, something like that, is my color comparison that I made just using hex codes. I'm going to stamp today, but you can find the um, the more graphic looking ones on my blog. Okay. So oh, let's start. Let's just let's just start with the big bright one. <laughs> Hello, Carolyn. So this is Lemon Lolly. We got rid of So Saffron. Not sad at all. Some of you might be. Actually, I was talking to someone over on Instagram the other day, and she's like, So Saffron is my absolute most favorite color. And I was like, I can't say the same. I actually really don't like So Saffron. So I'm not a fan of yellow, but I think this color is so needed. It's just a bright, cheerful yellow. Makes a, it's not. Daffodil Delight works, but it's a little duller. <laughs> Jamie, it's favorite color. It's a little more dull. This is a beautiful, bright, vibrant yellow. So Lemon Lolly. My camera is not doing it justice. So definitely check out the graphics because you will get a better idea of exactly how bright this is. <laughs> oh, you're so very welcome, Judy. I know you don't really like yellow. I don't really like yellow, but I can appreciate it. Does that make sense? Like, I don't like it, but I'm like, okay, yeah, we need a yellow. So I see the purpose of it. Okay, I'm going to use one of my floral images from the two-tone flora. And I'm going to compare it. So let me do a little. I didn't do this ahead of time. And nothing like stamping on the fly for the very first time. I don't know what these are going to stamp like. Hopefully it doesn't act up. So lemon lolly with the new blues. Ooh, blue and yellow is very pretty. Oh, that is. Okay, I don't like yellow, but I really appreciate that. That is a nice, bright, and vibrant yellow. Oh, I really can appreciate that. I can, yes, three. Okay, let's do a little... This is Daffodil Delight next to it. Woo. That looks seriously darker. Like, wow, darker. That looks seriously darker. And then that's to the right of it. Oh, this may need to be re-inked. Let's see if I got enough juice out of it to stamp. 
we're coming off winter, so my ink pads are are in need of a little refilling. That's crushed curry. That looks brown. That literally looks brown next to the bright lemon lolly. And there are Stampin' Blends for all of these, for all of our new colors. So the light, remember our Stampin' Blends come in a light and a dark. That's the light. Oh, I don't think my video is doing it justice. It is really bright and pretty. That's the light one. This is the dark lemon lolly. I do too, Judy. I do. I do. Maybe this makes me a fan of yellow. <gasps> Did I just say that? <laughs> Actually, I got to find. Okay, I'm going to put it over there. Did I just say I liked it? <laughs> Who even am I? <laughs> okay, so that's Lemon Lolly. Let's go to a blue. Misty Moonlight is one of the blues that is returning. So, of the 11, seven of them are colors we've already have, have had, and four of them are brand new, okay? So Misty Moonlight is one of those, and it's like, I don't know what year it was in. I should look, but I still had my original um, ink pad, so now I have two. Um, so it couldn't have been that that long ago that we had it. So Misty Moonlight, just a really, really nice blue. It's like a I would call it like a denim blue almost. Hold on. Did I clean this? I don't remember if I cleaned this or not. Okay. So let's do our Misty Moonlight. When you're opening your new ink pads, I just felt it with that one. They're going to be a little on the tight side. Just a heads up. The more you use it, they'll loosen up. It went out. I'm trying to think, Lori. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe last year? Would that be right? So that's Misty Moonlight. Let's compare it to, I didn't get these out ahead of time. Let's compare it to Night of Navy, which is like, I love Night of Navy so much. It's just a great blue. Ooh. So not a, it's not drastically different like these I would say are drastically different and it's just a deeper blue night of maybe it's just a deeper blue for sure and then how about we do starry sky yeah. it's just different it's hard to really describe the misty moonlight definitely looks like denim Night of Navy looks like a navy, and Starry Sky is a brighter, darker blue. Is that contradictory? Brighter, darker? <laughs> it's a dark blue, but it's a brighter, dark blue. Misty has more gray. Yeah, I would agree with that. Misty has more gray. Yep. That is a good observation. Okay, so Stampin' Blends. That's the dark, the light. Again, Misty Moonlight. That's so pretty. So very pretty. Dark one. Ooh, that is a beautiful, rich blue. Misty Moonlight, folks. Everyone give her a round of applause. <laughs> very nice. Okay. What should we do next? Let's go to Pecan. Pecan. Everybody says it differently. Oh, so... Pecan, 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 Ooh. Um, pecan. I don't know. There's so many different. Yay, Julie's clapping. There's so many different ways to say it, but I think I'm going to say it pecan. Pecan? Pecan pecan pie? I don't know. I don't eat them. I don't like pecan pie. I never make it. But this is what I would call the color sort of replacing soft succulent. Um but it's not, it's like, I wish I had cinnamon cider still, because I think it's a little similar to that. Oh, end of last year in the spring, I had several packs. Oh, okay. So it didn't go out that long ago. Pecan pie. Okay. Let's do a little stamp. And, oh, she's got, she's got some. Okay. Beautiful neutral. Almost. Not quite chocolate chip from a couple of years ago, but not quite cinnamon cider, not quite 
soft suede, kind of sort of like somewhere in there. I'm going to stick to current colors and not bring in new pecan, pecan. It depends how you pronounce can. Do you pronounce it con or can? <laughs> this here is early espresso. Just, that's a brown. I almost think like sometimes early espresso that needs to be re-inked um, looks black. Like it's such a dark brown. It almost looks black at times. And then we're going to throw in some crumb cake here. I really should have refilled some of these before I did this, but it is what it is. Those actually really complimentary, complement each other very nicely. Pecan. Judy is a pecan. <laughs> and then we have our Stampin' Blends. So light pecan pie. Ooh, that's fun. That'll be really nice in the fall or for like tree trunks, <laughs> that sort of thing. Pecan pie, everyone. Give her a round of applause. I really like it. I like that so much more than soft suede. And nothing against soft suede. Uh, actually, these colors are kind of fun together. Look at those three that we just did. Okay, moving on up. Let's go to another really bright one. <laughs> Jamie, maybe a silly question. What are you cleaning your stamps with? Never a silly question. Okay, so this I'm using, let me show you the way it comes. Our simple, simply chamois. It's just a chamois. It's um, like a foam mat um, where you get it and it's got moisture in it. And then you use it over time and it ends up looking like something like this. <laughs> it's my go-to way of cleaning my stamps because all you have to do is rinse it in water. Like I rinse it in water and um, just use it until it dries out or it's not cleaning as well. I rinse it. I keep it in a clear case. It, it starts like this and then it becomes really well loved. And all I do is just a little bit of this. Sometimes it's a little too wet. Dry it on my grid paper and call it a day. It's my number one favorite way of cleaning stamps. Okay. Get your sunglasses. <laughs> You may need sunglasses. <laughs> Who remembers Lemon Lime Twist? This is a returning color from a couple of years ago. I remember Lemon Lime Twist. Um, it has a place and it works. It's just very bright. It's bright. It's a bright, vibrant green. I think for you, maybe it's looking a little yellow. It is neon green. <laughs> There's no... There's no going around it. It's neon green. It is. It just is. <laughs> You're so very welcome. Okay, here we go. Lemon lime twist. Let's stamp you and see what you look like. <laughs> that is bright green. <laughs> Lemon lime twist. Well, we have another very vibrant, bright green we can compare it to. And I used to think Granny Apple Green was pretty bright. This is one of our current in colors, Parakeet Party. Another super... Someone get the sunglasses. Oh, you make sure you go on my website, on my blog, and you look at the graphics. Because I really don't think my video is doing this justice. But these are bright colors. And then this is Granny Apple Green, which is so funny because I used to think this was so bright. And now it looks like almost a dull green. No, not really dull, but it certainly doesn't quite. Lemon Lime Twist definitely, definitely has a little more yellow in it. Parakeet Party is just bright neon green. Lemon Lime Twist has a little bit more yellow in it. I love that they gave us Stampin' Blends in all the new colors. Thank you, Stampin' Up. There's our Lemon Lime Twist. The light one. And then the dark one. I don't understand why we need a Lemon Lime Twist. Well, I don't really know either, Lori. It's nice and it has its place. I think that's the green and the zany... 
Lemon lime twist. Yeah, it's the green and the zany um, zoo. It's the alligator. So I really like it here. It has its place. I think they did when lemon lime twist was around. I think they used it for like the Halloween sweet too, if I remember correctly. If I'm correct. Okay. So one of the brand new colors we've never had before. Azure. No, that's not how Azure. Is that how you pronounce that? To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this. Azure afternoon. This is what I would call the one that's replacing Pacific Point, which I rarely use. So I'm happy for a new blue to try. It's like a nice bright blue. Azure. <coughs> I'm going horse. I'm getting a little horse. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I didn't think it was that bright, but it's 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 got some color in it. Let's compare it to Tahitian Tide because I thought Tahitian Tide was a pretty bright blue. Let's see. Ooh, okay. No, I take it back. Tahitian Tide is definitely more teal. Azure. That's how you pronounce it? Azure? Is it English? Azure? Thank you. I had no idea. I was pronouncing Azure. Parakeet will leave and then we'll need it. Well, that is true. And they're, they are different. Very complimentary. Like to do um, a beach. I like both of them together. Like a tropical. I like them together. What should we compare it with? Um, I don't know. I don't think we have a good one. Should we do Balmy Blue? What did I compare it with online? I did compare it with Balmy Blue online. This is, this is going to be just not comparable at all. Nope. That is like baby blue. And these are very tropical looking. I like that. That's woo. Our blends. Light. Azure. Afternoon. Dark. Azure. As, azure. <laughs> I'm just going to call it afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> the light afternoon and the dark afternoon. That's what we're going to do about that because <laughs> I can't pronounce it. I can't pronounce it and it's just not working. Okay. Let's bring in Berry Burst. Now, Berry Burst was around the same time that Lemon Lime Twist was and they're very complimentary. And they mentioned that in the live when they were in, whoops, in Sarah's live. And I do. I remember we had a suite where these colors were in it together. You'll see them. Berry Burst and Lemon Line Twist. Like just really complimentary to each other. A nice pink, but not, uh, it's pink with some definitely purple in it. Like it's just not straight pink. Polished pink was a straight pink. This is like some purple in it. Did I clean my stamp? I can't remember. I think so. That's all I need to do is like crap cross contamination here. Woo. It's got a lot of ink in it. Now, that, uh, you might have heard me say that has a lot of ink in it. It will dry a little lighter. That is very burst. What should we compare it to? Let's compare it to Melon Mambo. Look at all these colors. Oh, I love color. Color is so fun to look at and analyze. Melon Mambo. Okay, definitely more pinky. Pinky, pinky. And then, oh, Rich Razzleberry is what I would have compared that one to. Um, oh, gosh. We don't have a good, which one did I compare it with online? I bet I compared it with Moody Moth. I did compare it with Moody Moth. Let's compare it with Fresh Freesia. It's not going to look anything like it. But we really don't have another good color. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's purple. Cherry cobbler. Oh, uh, I guess that would have been a good one. Cherry cobbler is definitely more red. This is, yeah. The um, melon mambo is definitely the best comparison. Or moody moth, but I'm really trying to compare to like colors that we have right now. So light berry burst. Woo! Ooh, that is so pretty. 
dark berry burst. Oh, what a gorgeous purpley pink. Blackberry. Oh, I guess I could have done blackberry. Do you want to see them? <laughs> Hold on. Ah, come here. Come over here. I don't know if my blackberry, I think it needs to be re-inked, but let's see if I can get another enough juice out of it. This is Blackberry Bliss. Yeah, that's a good comparison. That's definitely more purpley. But definitely a better choice than comparing it to Fresh Freesia, for sure. And then I don't know if my Cherry Cobbler has enough go in it, but we can try. This is Cherry Cobbler, which... It should be darker. It needs to be refilled desperately. <laughs> it didn't survive the holidays very well. <laughs> all that, all the Christmas. Okay. So, Berry Burst. Love, 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 love that color. Okay, what's up? Lost Lagoon. Oh, I love Lost Lagoon. Lost Lagoon was... When I first joined as a demonstrator, it was an ink color, I think. Or maybe it was an ink color when I was still a customer. It might have been when I was still a customer. But it is, I honestly forgot how, just how pretty the color is until I was looking at it and taking it out right now. Like, it's just such, <laughs> my uh, chamois is putting put, being put through the ringer. <laughs> okay, Lost Lagoon. So pretty. It's just such a pretty color. It's mint, but a little darker. Um, so complementary to greens and blues. I think you're going to really, 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 really like this color. That's very dark. It will dry a little bit lighter. It looks pretty gray there, but it will lighten as it dries. My chamois is dying. <laughs> Definitely. I might open my other one. Um, let's compare it to Pool Party. I think these two colors are going to be very pretty together. Pool Party. <gasps> Melt my heart. Not the same color, but so pretty together. And I'm not going to do it because I'm sticking to our current colors, but put Pretty Peacock right there next to it and like... Can we please have paper that has Pool Party, Lost Lagoon, and Pretty Peacock in it just by itself? Like the like the countryside one that's like monochromatic, but like with these three colors. Oh, I would love that so much. I don't know what to compare it to. What did I compare? I bet I put Pretty Peacock online. I, oh, no, I did shoes Shaded Spruce. Okay. I see what I did. I didn't realize I did that. My chamois is dying. Okay, this is shaded spruce. It's going to look so green next to it. See how much it's already faded already? Yeah, green, blue, light blue. So pretty together. I love those. Oh my gosh, I could just live in that color family forever. Oh, I guess I never showed the cardstock. My bad. I got so excited about stamping the color. I forgot about the card stuff. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I think out of all the colors, this is my favorite color. Eh, pretty. No, I think I like this one more than Pretty Peacock. Um, which is which? Dark light. Oh my gosh. Melt my heart. Light and then dark. Oh my glory. This one needs a round of applause, guys. It really needs a round of applause. <laughs> so pretty. I know I keep saying it's so pretty, but it really is. This one really, really is. I mean, they all are, but this one really, really is. Okay, next. Oh. Okay, this one, Bubble Bath, is a brand new color. Like I said, some of them are returning colors. This is one of the four brand new ones. It's a bright purpley pink when put next to purple it looks more pink when put next to pink it looks more purple looks like a darker soft succulent yeah it's like yeah i don't even have it i already i took all my retiring colors out or else i'd compare it but yeah 
It's so pretty. Um, love, 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 love. It's a pinky purple, but light, like a pastel pinky purple. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably going to put it with my pinks. Probably, I say that. We'll see. Okay, make sure my ink pad is clean. My stamp is clean. Okay, so Bubble Bath. What a fun name, Bubble Bath. Love it. Bubble Bath. Let's see here. Let's compare this one to Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia is definitely going to look more purpley here. Yep. Definitely looks more purpley here. And flirty flamingo no not at all petal pink no not at all maybe we'll go melon mambo i don't know what color to compare it to i love it too julie i really do this is gonna look way brighter or darker i should say Oops, didn't stamp on all the way yep such a pretty purpley pink <laughs> i should have had two chamois Maybe I'll get the one that's healed. Though. Okay. Oops. So, yep. Light bubble bath. Such a fun name. Ooh, it's like, looks cotton candy there. Maybe not quite as bright as, ooh. Those look definitely pinkier to me than the stamped color. Ready for it? So pretty. <laughs> Are you getting sick of me saying it yet? Okay, I'm actually going to open the other chamois because my current chamois is dying since I'm using it so much. Desperately needs to be rinsed. So this is what a new chamois side looks like. A little damp. You're going to need to put it in somewhere to hold the moisture. And it's going to get all sorts of marked up and that's, that's fine. That's what's supposed to happen. Okay, blueberry bushel. Oh. Blueberry bushel is one of the ret uh, returning colors. It's like a true blue. Oh, sorry. It's just a true blue. So there's blueberry bushel. And then we have the stamp, the ink pad, I should say. I cleaned this, right? <laughs> I keep forgetting if I've cleaned them or not. Ooh, this is gonna be very bright. Ooh, I am too, Terry. It's a good blue. It's a good true blue. Where'd my tissue go? This is ready. Pretty pink. So pretty. <laughs> Where'd the other? Okay, ready? You're going to see me use the chamois for the first time. Woo! Now, as I'm going through these colors, I have forgotten to mention that I'm doing a new color club. Because with all these, um, it doesn't include the ink colors, okay? Um, the 11, I'm not counting Fresh Freesia, so 10 new colors. I realize you're going to want the new ink pads, the stamp and blends, the cardstock, all the things. But maybe you need to sort of spread it out over time and for your budget and whatever. So I've created a new color club. You can find the link at jamieb.com. It is... Uh, where is it? It's eighty-one fifty a month for five months. Each month, you're gonna get two colors. You're gonna get two ink pads, two card stocks, two refills, two stamp and blends, two stamp and writes, and then I'm gonna throw in a sample of other complementary product to whatever color you're um getting that month. Um, so that the idea is at the end of five months, you have all the new ink pads, all the new refills, all the new product, except for Fresh Freesia. I'm not including that one because I'm assuming a lot of you already have that color. Um, if you already have, let's say, Blueberry. Is this still Blueberry? No, this is Starry Sky. If you already have one of the colors and you need to swap out product for that color, um, you can let me know on the form. There is a spot all the way at the bottom that says that you need to uh, supplement product if you already have one of the colors um, and you can do that. Okay. So um, one of the months you're also going to be able to be the hostess and get hostess rewards. You'll get at least around $40 in free product for one of those months. 
And you're also going, what am I missing? Like I look at my form. Um, it starts in May is our very first month. Uh, I will issue an invoice the 30th of the month prior. It needs to be paid within 24 hours. And then I will order on the first and ship out as it comes in. I'm also going to provide uh, monochromatic uh, tutorials for two cards. And um, those will be in a PDF form that you can use as inspiration to make cards using your new product, okay? So there are limited spots available. So sign up, do not wait. Um, I have one full, so it will depend on interest going forward, okay? So if you're interested, again, that's $81.50 a month for five months, you get all the new product, you get two tutorials, you get to be hostess for one of those months. And what am I forgetting? That was Orchid Oasis, by the way. I don't know what my kids are doing upstairs. <laughs> Something. Um, and you get a sample of extra product in there as well. Light blueberry bushel. I forgot the name for a second. Very nice. Okay, so those those details you can find at jamieb.com. Jamieb.com is my catch-all link. You can shop, you can join, you can get the product share, you can do the color club. If you have any questions, certainly just reach out. If you're not sure, there's no silly question, just reach out. Blueberry Bushel, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis. I love that. That's really beautiful. Okay, what's next? Pretty Peak. Okay, Pretty Peacock is one of the returning colors. So pretty, especially with that Lost Lagoon. Like if I had stamped that up there, whoo, forget about it. I'm done. Like a deeper, darker, richer teal. It's not Bermuda Bay, but it's kind of like along those lines if we were doing a... Why do I keep having fuzzies show up everywhere? Okay, so Pretty Peacock. Oh, that didn't stamp very well, but there it is. <laughs> Definitely did not get a good, um, a good stamp. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do shaded spruce again. I feel like those two would be kind of compar comparative. That's not the right word. Complementary. You know, whatever word I'm trying to say. Yep, definitely greener. That looks green until you stamp it next to a green, and then you're like, that's not green. <laughs> that's definitely not green. That is blue, but it's not blue. And on the other side, what should we do on the other side? You know what? I'm going to break my own rule because it's my rule, so I can break it. I'm going to do Lost Lagoon on the other side. They gotta dry. Once they dry, it'll look like this. See how different that is? It's the same color. This one's dry and this one's not. You gotta give it a little bit. Pretty peacock will be so pretty for the fall. Yes, Leslie. 120 million percent. I agree. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Um, is that all the main colors? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, those are all the main um new colors. So if you'd like. To get all these color ink pads, blends, refills, Stampin' Rights, complimentary product, the Color Club, it's it's the best reasonable way you're going to get in your hands a new product. Um, for the graphic design, you can go online and find that. Okay, let's do the ink colors. There's five more colors, and then I will let you go. Oh, I didn't do the blends. Oh, dear. How did I do that? I got so excited about the new ink colors. That's the light. And the dark. Ooh, even just the light and dark together are really pretty. Like there's enough of a contrast there that you could just use them, not like blending them, but use them as two separate colors. Ooh, those are so pretty. Okay. So for the five new ink colors, there is, there are dots <laughs> there's a pack of dots and you get the five colors there are three sizes 
they're like the new ones, the ones we have right now with Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, I think it is, like that kind of texture. And then there's designer series paper. So there's four different patterns, a heart one, a heart pattern, <laughs> stripes, dots, and lines. And you get those in all five of the colors. So if you want a sample of this, you would literally get this. Like this is what you would receive. Um, that's in my product share. You would also get the dots in my product share. And also on my product share, you the five new colors come in, what is this called? Textured ribbon, three eighths inch wide. This is the copper clay. It almost looks, oh my gosh, I almost said something really stupid. I almost said it looks like copper. It's called copper clay, Jamie. Oh my gosh, it's been a long day. Okay, you also get a sampling of this in my product share. Let's do some stamping. Well, that's the cardstock. <laughs> I'm not going to open it up. Wow. That almost looks red. It almost looks red there. Again, it's going to change color as it dries. But that looks red. Where is the cherry cobbler now? My cherry cobbler that desperately needs to be refilled. Let's <laughs> see if I can get enough color out of it. Barely. Okay, so now it looks brown. But before, it definitely looked red. Um, I have no idea what other color to use with that. Oh, uh, Maybe early espresso. Maybe. Oh, look at them now that they're drying. Oh, so pretty. This is early espresso. It's going to look very, yeah, that looks almost, so these together, it looks red. These two together, it looks brown. Isn't that funny? Color is so funny how it works like that. And color, you know, just the way you use it with other color, just so different. Stampin' Blends, the light copper clay. That's going to be really nice for fall super duper nice. There's also a sweet earthen something that has these kind of um, colors. <laughs> That's what we're going to say. So copper clay. So funny. It looks red, looks brown. Not funny how that happens. Okay. Now we knew boho blue was coming because we saw a sample of it in the mini Boho Blue stamp and cut in the boss machine, but here it is the woven rip, woven textured ribbon. Definitely has texture. This is gonna make beautiful bows. This is the, exactly the texture I like in ribbon for bows. So, Boho Blue, it's almost like I, I don't have it, but I would love to see it compared to Seaside Spray. Remember Seaside Spray? It's kind of similar. Although I'm sure if you were to put it up to it, it would be completely different because that's how color works. Seaside spray. I mean, oh my gosh, boho blue. Don't be calling it the wrong name, Jamie, for goodness sakes. Okay. Boho blue. Ooh. It, I, I bet that's going to lighten as it dries, as I always say. Um, it definitely looks a lot darker there for sure. Um, where's my balmy blue? Let's compare it to balmy blue. Wow, those are really pretty together. And I want to compare it to Misty Moonlight. Can I break my own rule again? Oh my gosh, they're all going to fall. I'm going to break my own rule and let's compare, let's throw Misty Moonlight in this in with it because I think I'm going to like all three of them together. Ooh, that's going to lighten. Pretty peacock will be so pretty. Oh, did I already read? Me too, Patricia. It's going to be so fun to look at colors. I love those three together. Those are the three I think that are in that paper, right? Plus Night of Navy, right? And the countryside in. You know what? I think I have to get more Stampin' Right holders. Sugars, I didn't order that when I placed my... I'm not going to have enough space for all these blends. 
Oh boy, I gotta place another order. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> the light. Oh gosh, what a beautiful blue. I love these colors together so, so, so much. Okay. Let me get another piece of white and we have three more to go. Who's still with me? <laughs> now, Pebbled Path. I almost want to say, remember Tip Top Taupe? <laughs> say that 10 times fast. Tip Top Taupe. Um, it's a little, I want to say it's like a little darker than that. I love this ribbon. So pretty. Pebbled Path. It's like, it's like a gray, but it's not gray. It's like a taupe, but darker than a taupe. Such pretty colors, Judy. I agree. Like, not basic. Well, we're going to compare it. Let's just do this. So Pebbled Path. These are colors, again, will only be around for two years. So something to keep in mind. Ooh, that is going to lighten. That looks pretty dark. I don't think it's really that dark. Let's see as it lightens. Where's my other one? Yeah, you see? That's lightened so much. This is like a more true true color once you let them dry. So Pebble Path. Let's throw some basic gray on there. Basic gray. Ooh, that's, that's pretty close. That's just a lighter version. So Pebbled Path is actually darker than Basic Gray. I wasn't expecting that. And then I want to throw Gray Granite in here because Gray Granite to me is, is taupey. It's a brownie gray. That's Gray Granite. Ooh, those are very pretty together. That's Gray Granite. Huh. I honestly thought basic gray was going to be darker than Pebble Path, but it's not. Pebble Path is definitely darker than basic gray. So then we have our, our light and then our dark. Ooh, that's fun. Pebble Path, everyone. Let's hear it for Pebble Path. <laughs> This one, Moody Mauve, I have to say, it's like, it reminds me of Rococo Rose, but darker and deeper. There's the, the beautiful ribbon. And it's like a dusty color. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but seeing it in person, I definitely like it more in person than looking at the color like in a graphic. So Moody Mauve, we're not going to have good comparison colors, I can tell you that right now. Moody Mauve. Yep. Give that a sec to dry. And I'm going to compare it to berry burst because I want to, <laughs> because I can. Berry burst. Mm. Yep, definitely dusty and then bright, like a brighter version of it for sure. And then, Oh, oh, I guess I'm going to do Melon Mambo, but I don't really want to do Melon Mambo because it's not going to be like it literally at all. But, yeah, that's actually, well, it's bright. The Melon Mambo is definitely bright. So Moody Mauve. I would love to see flowers. Actually, I think Moody Mauve is within the daisies, but I'd love to see like flowers with just this color. Here's the light and the dark. Ooh, so pretty. Let's hear it from Moody Moth. Oh, compare it to Cherry Cobbler. Well, where's my... My Cherry Cobbler doesn't have a lot of juice in it right now, so it's not giving a true comparison, but there's those two. <clears throat> my Cherry Cobbler definitely needs a little bit of love and a little more ink in it. 
It's it's struggle through Christmas. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay, so wild wheat. I cannot wait to see what people do with this color because I find it. Well, I like it better in person. I'll say it that much. Um, it reminds me of like, like, like rich royalty, that kind of thing. There's the ribbon. And then we have our cardstock. It also reminds me of something else. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what people start doing with it and how they use it and make me fall in love with it. It almost, you know what? I'm going to compare it to old olive because it almost has some green in it to me. That's what I see. Like it's a brownie green. Ooh, that one has lots of ink in it. Okay, so wild wheat. And then, oh, why can't I get that one? Yes. I didn't want to say it, Judy, but that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> a dirty diaper. <laughs> Um, you said it. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Wild wheat. Let's throw some old olive next to it because I do think there's green in there. Is that old olive? That is old olive. Well, there we go. It almost looks like mossy meadow there. Um, I don't know what to throw next to it. Should we do crumb cake for lack of a better color to be oh look how pretty those dried next to each other don't those two look so pretty once they've dried and lightened so complementary to one another okay so old olive is looking very green next to wild wheat and i always think old olive looks a little more olivey <laughs> more green or excuse me more brown that's crumb cake so wild wheat old olive crumb cake. Hmm. Color is so fascinating to me. I could stare at color for hours. And then light wild wheat <laughs> and dark wild wheat. And there you have it, right? I covered everything. Nothing is, it's all over here. I got to put it all away. Oh, compare it to crushed curry. I could do that. Where'd my thing go? I could absolutely do that. Where's my crushed curry? My crushed curry needs to be refilled also. My cherry cobbler and crushed curry, I should have done ahead of time, but it'll more or less work. Ooh, that was a good idea. Those are good. It's so funny. It makes crushed curry look bright, which I would never think of crushed curry as a bright color. But like you look at the tones in that and it's definitely yellowy green it's very interesting i like those two together i like those two together like the olive old olive and wild wheat together are very pretty and i like those two together and i like these three together can i just i'll just keep going i like them all together okay so that wraps up the unboxing and it wraps up a closer look at the colors um again for um a graphic comparison you can go to my blog i'm going to drop my catch-all link again jamieb.com if you are even just curious and you want to know more about the color collection um the new color club the p product share uh to place an order all the things jamieb.com again customers can't order this until may 4th unless you're like i need it sooner totally understand that you can pre-order any of the things that you saw me have here today in your starter kit okay you can actually add those to the starter kit and if you need help with like product numbers and all that stuff i'd be happy to help you um jamieb.com you can find all my links to social media my blog all the things if you have questions if you need a deeper look at something please just ask there's no silly questions um i would love to help and answer questions any way i can Okay, 
that's it. I'm literally going horse for having talked for so long. Thank you so, so much for joining me, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and upcoming weekend. And I hope to see you again too. It was fun, Isabel. It was so fun to just compare and spend this time with you. Thank you for joining me. Happy stamping, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.